Welcome to day 27 of Reset, Restart, Refocus. Okay, so today was a pretty normal day for me. I got up and went to work and did all the things that I do every day. But boy, today has been an especially cold day. I've just been feeling chilly all day today. So anyway, I'm just looking forward to spring. January is almost over. February is coming up. Then it will be March. And then hopefully, you know, I'm looking forward to the warmer weather. That's for sure. I'm tired of being cold all the time. So anyway, let's get on with my day. So I weighed in this morning, and if you watched yesterday's video, you know that I had I did a little pancake experiment, um, kind of late in the um, afternoon-ish, and I kind of ate it when I wasn't hungry, which was a bad thing to do, but I said I was going to do it, so I did, and I felt bloated all night long, you know, from eating when I wasn't hungry which is a big lesson that I need to learn for sure. And I just knew that my weight was gonna be up this morning. So here's my weigh-in for this morning. Okay, so I was 175, which means that I'm up 0.6 pounds. So that wasn't too bad. I, I really wasn't that disappointed. I was expecting a pound or, or more of a weight gain but um, so point six, that's not too bad. And so um, I know I said I was going to do my ketones and my blood glucose, but after I had all those sweeteners yesterday, I was really curious on to how um, it would affect me this morning. So I did take my blood glucose. So here's that. Well, my glucose isn't bad at all after that experiment yesterday. Okay, so my blood glucose was 81 this morning, which means it was down 10 points from yesterday evening. So that's really good. My body really metabolizes that stuff pretty well. Okay, and then I took my ketones. So everything is in the normal range like it usually is. Okay, so my ketones were 2.4, which means I was up 0.6. So, all in all, I don't think it was really that bad of an experiment. I kind of saw um, what the sweeteners and the almond flour do to my body, which I was really curious about. And the only bad thing about the experiment was I ate when I wasn't hungry. I mean, that's a big fail for me. But, so I'll try not to do that again. I know. So, anyway, that's enough with the numbers. And so here's what I had to eat today. Okay, so it's about a quarter after 12 right now, and I'm breaking my fast. I forgot my pepperoni and cheese at home this morning, so I'm going to skip that part. I'm going to have this little side salad with ranch, and I'm going to have three of these tuna cakes in order to get enough protein in since I don't have pepperoni. Okay. So I woke up this morning and packed all my stuff and I just wasn't with it this morning I guess because um, I forgot to pack the pepperonis and cheese. I forgot to pack some apple cider vinegar so I could have that um, in the morning. And so I just had the tuna cakes and the salad and that really filled me up quite a bit. So I had three of those tuna cakes and the side salad. So that was that. I'm still, I'm feeling comfortably full still. Everything's good. So today was a big win for me, that's for sure. So um, I don't have any real words of wisdom for you today, but I did want to show you how I make my electrolyte drink. So here's that. Okay, so we're back in the kitchen and I'm going to show you how I make my electrolyte drink. Okay, so I'm going to start off with just a quart size um, mason jar. 
and today I'm using Lime LaCroix. I use um, a lot of different flavors. Lime and the berry are my favorites. And so you could use whatever kind of sparkling water you like, or just use plain water if, you, if that's what you like. But I like the bubbles, the carbonation. It kind of helps me to kick my Diet Pepsi craving. All right, so there's that. And now I'm going to add a tablespoon of sole water that I've made. I have the Celtic um, sea salt that I've made this batch with. You can use the Celtic sea salt or you could use the Himalayan pink salt. Either way. So I have a tablespoon of that. I have a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Make sure you shake it up to get all the good stuff in there. Apple cider vinegar is so good for you for so many different things. And I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of no salt to get my potassium in. So I pulled out a quarter of a measuring cup. Woo, did you see that foam up? So a half a teaspoon of that. And then for a little bit of sweetness to cut down the acidity of the apple cider vinegar, there's a few things that I um, usually use. I'll use these um, raspberry um, lemonade sweet drops. These are really good. These are my favorite, actually. I also have berry flavored sweet drops. And I have orange. So today I'm going to use the orange flavor because orange and lime go really well together. So it comes with one of these little squirter things. I just fill that up about a quarter of the way to half away. And that's what I do. So there we go. Give it a stir because you really want that potassium to really mix in there. And then fill it up with some ice. That keeps it nice and cold and it helps to stir everything in. So I'll just use my, I use a steel straw. I got this off of Amazon because um, the plastic um, straws, they can, inter the, can interact with the vanilla, uh, the, not vanilla, the vinegar and I don't know, I just don't think plastic and vinegar go very well together. So there you go. That's my version of a keto electrolyte drink. Yum. Okay, so that's what I drink for an electrolyte drink. I drink one of those a day. Um, I don't do, go too crazy with it. And I feel like it gives me a lot of the electrolytes that I really need, plus some apple cider vinegar on top of that. And then for the magnesium, I just take a magnesium supplement in the evenings. So um, I know a lot of people put Natural Calm magnesium supplement in their um, electrolyte drink. But um, from the research that I've done, Natural Calm is the wrong kind of magnesium. You need magnesium glycinate. And that's what I take. And you can only get that in pill form. So I take that, um, the magnesium at the end of the day with my other supplements that I take. So um, just a couple of things that I want to tell you about the electrolyte drink is if you're not used to sole water, um, take the sole water pretty slow. Because if your body's not used to it, you'll be in the bathroom. I promise you that. So start off with a tablespoon of, of sole water and gradually try to increase it 
to up to two or three tablespoons a day and you'll be getting all the sodium in that you need you won't have to worry about that also for the potassium I start off with a half a teaspoon of potassium no I start off with a quarter teaspoon of potassium and I work my way up to about a half a teaspoon so the drink is very um, you can taste it it's salty um, it's a little bit sour from the vinegar so a little salty sour taste and then a tiny bit of sweet because I like to put a little bit of stevia in it, some kind of flavored stevia. If you're into Mio Drops or anything like that, you can add whatever you want to it to flavor it. But um, without some kind of flavoring, I don't think it's um, palatable at all. So try some flavoring in it, that's for sure. All right, so I think that's all that I wanted to say about that. I forgot to mention that when I was in the kitchen doing the video. All right, so that's all that I have for you today. TGIF, happy Friday. I'm happy that the weekend's here. And I'll be planning after this video, I'm going to be planning my meal prep for the next week so that tomorrow I can do the shopping and Sunday will be meal prep day again. I'll have the kids um, here with me all weekend long, so expect to see them in some of my videos as well. All right, so that's all that I have for you today. So until tomorrow, keep calm and keto on.